An obvious place to start searching for happiness is in the mind. Or more accurately, in the human brain. Basically, a giant magnet. This machine allows neuroscientists to peer inside our heads. Okay, Mark, we're just about ready to start. This is your brain in all glorious three dimensions. The computer images reveal that when I look at pictures of a smiling baby rather than a grumpy one, there's increased activity in an area of the brain just above my eyes and another area further back. So you can actually see emotional changes there? We can see blood flow that corresponds to emotional changes. Um, so we can see changes that happens when you're seeing happy or, or sad faces, when you taste nice or nasty things, or when you smell nice or nasty things. Is happiness something genuinely tangible? Well, you're asking me a very difficult question. You're asking me whether your subjective experiences are really something that can is tangible. I think the answer from modern neuroscience and brain imaging in particular is that yes, it is very tangible, it does correlate with brain activity. It is an extraordinary conclusion. Neuroscience provides evidence that happiness is more than a concept, more than a mood. It's real, you can see it, you can even measure it. Or at least we can see and measure pleasure. Do you think pleasure and happiness are the same thing, linked or different? I think they're definitely linked. They're certainly not the same thing. In pleasure, you're always seeking for that next pleasurable thing, so you're always in a wanting state. You finally get that thing, you get an orgasm, or you get, you get that food, that chocolate you've always wanted, and then you're in a liking state, but that state doesn't really last. And once that state is over, you're back in your wanting state. It's almost like Happiness is a state, while pleasure is a fleeting moment in that state. As we progress in understanding what it is that gives us this lasting state, as opposed to just a quick fix, we may be actually getting closer to understanding what it is that makes us happy and what makes us stay happy.